What is up YouTube? It's your girl Jay Jornet and I'm back with another video and as you already see by the title today I have a review on yet another wig by Wiggins Company. This is one of my favorite wig brands. They have some of the best curly hair that I have ever tried. Um, and they have really good wigs. The lace on their wigs are really, really good. And I feel like I always get a flawless install with Wiggins hair. I have one particular wig uh, video that I did with, in collaboration with Wiggins brand and did really great. And it's just because they have really good lace. Like, it just blends and melts down with my skin so wonderfully. But, um, yes, this is a 34-inch wig. Let me show y'all the length. Can you see me? Hey. Hold on. Yeah, it's a 34 inch wig. It is water wave. Water wave used to be my favorite texture, and I think it's going back on me for a minute. I was starting to like lose the wave better, but this water wave hair was just so bomb, and it is still bomb. And I think it's starting to win me back over. I don't know, but y'all get into this sleigh, get into this everything. Like it's serving. It's definitely serving. But yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna remember too much. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also turn on both post notifications so you can be notified every time I post a video. And if you're returning, welcome back. And yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Hey guys, so I'm gonna start out with my um ball cap already on. Y'all know how I do the ball cap method. I just put on a cap and use got to be spray. Um and here I'm just altering the ball cap cutting it a little bit more because i don't like my wigs to come down too far like on my forehead so i'm just cutting away more the cap based on where i want it at and yeah that's just what y'all see me doing just pulling up more and more cap because i don't like my wigs super duper low and now i'm just adding a little bit makeup a little bit more powdered makeup and then i go on my got to be well ghost ghost bond xl I use the Excel version because I think it's better. Um, and I just did two layers of this. And then you smooth it out with a popsicle stick. And I've been blow drying lately. But be careful with blow drying because it can make the glue dry too fast. And the lace won't stick. So now y'all see my glue is clear so now i'm about to stick my lace into it and that's what y'all see here me just putting the lace in i did run into trouble a little bit because like i said the glue um dried a little bit too much so the lace did not adhere so what y'all gonna see me do on the other side is put more glue down and make it stay but this side was fully dry so i went ahead and put the lace in As you see, I'm just blow drying on high heat and alternating between cold and back combing with my comb. And it just helps to melt the lace into the skin. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing. It's no time limit just until you feel like your lace is dry and the glue is dry.
before I cut my lace, I just want to get my part kind of situated and straight. So that's what y'all see me doing. I'm going in with concealer and then I'm going in with permanent marker, just making the making trying to make the part look perfect basically. So that's what y'all see here. I mess with my lashes. Girl, girl. Oh, something was in my eye. Yeah, that's what it was. But um, yeah, that's what y'all see me doing here. It's just perfecting the part and putting some concealer in the middle of it that's my skin tone and yeah hair is so cute so bomb and yeah now i'm about to cut the lace with a straight razor that you use for your eyebrows that's the best thing to use in my opinion Also, I want y'all to ignore that darn hole in my shirt. I didn't know that it was there until I started filming, so I'm sorry if I'm looking kind of crusty, but I promise you I didn't know it was in that shirt. It's just my school shirt. But, um, yeah, I noticed on that side that the wig wasn't sticking, so I had to go in with some more glue and blow dry some more. So that's just what y'all see me doing. If it doesn't stick, just add more glue, but that was partially because I let it dry too long before putting the wig into it. So don't let it dry too long. As soon as it turns clear, put the wig into it. So now I'm starting on baby hairs. I've learned a lot from watching Eric and Tay's lives and just little videos. He curls his edges before he does them. And I swear, y'all, it makes a difference. So what y'all see me doing is just going in with a wax stick, hot combing it down, and making sure it's flat. Um, and seeing where my baby hairs are going to be. Uh, so all I do is, well, I hot combed it down just to make sure it was completely flat. And then I cut it. I went ahead and cut that hair off with a straight razor. Well, I did pluck a little bit first because it was a little dense. But then you're going to see me cut it with a straight razor. Same razor I used to cut the lace. And then, 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 I'm going to go in with my flat irons and do a curl and swoop them. I didn't get to swoop because my phone cut off, but you're just going to swoop it. Y'all going to see me do it. And yeah, but what I've learned is just to curl my edges before I, um, before I swoop them and i even do this with my real hair now and it makes a difference so yeah
Another thing that I've learned is to blow dry your edges while you're doing them to set them in place. And because this helps, because it doesn't lift your lace up. A lot of times when you've got to be, your lace lifts up. But now that I've been using uh, well, blow drying it right after I add it, it's been staying. So, yeah, that definitely helps a lot without lifting. And you're just helping it lay and stay in place. This is that side completed um y'all see it's looking slayed um but i'm just gonna do the same to the other side there's no point in me adding this in because you can't see me do it anyways i wish i knew how to do my wigs facing the camera but the way my angle is set up i can't really do it because my mirror is on my vanity and i have nowhere to put my camera in elsewhere so yeah but i just did the same exact thing on the other side and yeah that's really it All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys also learned something. And yeah, this is the finished product. It came out really great. And I just think it's really pretty hair. It's long and flowy. And it's perfect for the fall or the winter. Uh, all the links to this will be in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoy. And I will see you guys in the next one.